so welcome friends uh, in this video i am going to discuss about the kore winter olefination reaction this is one of the most uh, famous name reaction and also it is very important for any competitive exams and uh, you have to know the outcome of this reaction the reaction conditions it is not very difficult but you should know this reaction so as you can see uh, the reaction is basically when you have a diol and you are uh, reacting this diol in two condition first step is the reaction with this CH, uh, chcl2 that is phosgene chloride and uh, in the second condition it is reaction with this uh, tri uh, tri methoxyphosphine now in case of tri methoxyphosphine they can give you any phosphorus reagent for example uh, triphenyl phosphine or other phosphine reagent uh, any phosphine reagent is sufficient to do the reaction so when you treat this uh, diol compound with this two uh, reagents you get this uh, alkene now uh, the reaction is stereo specific so if you use uh, uh, cis diol you will get cis alkene and if you use trans diol you will get trans alkene so now we will discuss what is the mechanism of the reaction so the mechanism of the reaction is very simple as you can see this is your uh, cs cl2 so when uh, this diol react with this cs cl2 it will first uh, attack here to kick of one uh, chlorine and then another which group will also attack and it will also kick off another chlorine atom so now this cyclic uh, intermediate will be created okay so this cyclic compound it is called thionocarbonate okay it is called thionocarbonate ring now when it is reacted with this uh, tri in this case uh, trimethoxyphosphine so this is your trimethoxyphosphine now this trimethoxyphosphine you can see uh, uh, phosphorus is lone pair so it can attack on the sulfur so this will give you this negatively charged intermediate here you will have a negative charge you can see and this is SPOME whole thrice and this phosphorus will have a positive charge now you can see uh, what happen next is that now this uh, CS bond can break because Phosphorus sulfur bond is more stronger than carbon sulfur uh, carbon sulfur bond, and that's why this CS bond will break. So in this case, you will get this ESOME whole thrice as your byproduct, and you will get this carbene. So this is your carbene. Now this carbene can collapse like this. So you can see these bond can break and uh, there will be so when this bond break there will have a negative charge so this will push here and in turn this bond can break and you will get one carbon dioxide molecule because this part leave as carbon dioxide and you will get your alkene here now one thing you should note in this case is that throughout the reaction this center is remain intact only in this step these uh, two bonds are breaking okay so these centers are intact throughout the reaction but when they are breaking this is a single step and this, that is a concerted step so due to this concerted bond bond breaking step this reaction is stereo specific and the uh, stereochemistry of the product will be dependent on whether you are starting with your cis diol or trans diol for example in this case i started with the cis diol so that's why i get cis uh, alkene uh, if i would start with the trans diol i would get uh, the trans alkene so this is the stereo selectivity or stereo specificity outcome of the um, kore winter olefination reaction now i will show two very ex uh, important examples that are uh, that are uh, very important for csi net exam and uh, in some year it also came in the exam so this is very good example you can see this uh, cyclo octa cyclooctene in this case the cyclooctene is uh, reacted with these two condition first it is uh, reacted with metachlorobenzoic acid we will give epoxide and that epoxide is opened in acidic medium so you know epoxide opening in acidic medium will give you the trans uh, diol so in this case you will get this trans diol whereas if you do the same reaction with osmium tetroxide you will get cis diol directly from this octene okay so in this case you will get this cis diol now both of these compounds are uh, reacted with the kore winter olefination condition so the first step is uh, chcl2 and second step is uh, pome whole thrice and the same reagent is here now in this case as you are starting with the trans 
diol you are get you will get uh, you will get your trans uh, olefin so in this case the olefin is basically this one you can see this is your trans olefin which you will get whereas in this case you are starting with the cis diol so in this case you will get the cis olefin okay so you can see how the uh, stereochemistry of the starting material is uh, responsible for the stereochemistry of the product so this example once came in the csi exam and uh, there is nothing uh, nothing more in this uh, uh, particular reaction you should just note this two point that uh, the reaction is stereo specific that is it is dependent on the stereochemistry of your starting material and the re uh, reaction conditions you have to remember that which reagents are used so first step this uh, CaCl2 is used and then the second step uh, any phosphine in this case I used the trimethoxy phosphine but they can give you triphenyl phosphine or other phosphine reagents also any heterocyclic uh, compound of phosphorus also so this is the uh, this is the overall reaction and I will put the PDF file of this particular topic in my website I will put that link in the description section you can download so uh, if you are new in the channel you can subscribe my channel and uh, if you like this video give thumbs up and share this video with your friends and thank you for watching